So if we just go back into battery and unsolo those guys, we'll have a listen to the whole lot. And what we might do is just go in here and just add a little bit of compression just to this one for the moment. And what we can then do is we can just save the preset. save it as conga and we can then go in and load that preset up for all of our additional congas like so so if we play those now just have to bring down the levels of those ones a bit as we can see, you can also grab hold of multiple pads and adjust settings for them all as a whole, which is quite handy. So we might actually now add some master effects to these guys as a whole, just to help bring the whole lot together. So we might add a bit of compression to the whole lot. And we might also make use of our delay and our reverb. Might just grab bit of a preset for this one, we'll go for the subtle stereo preset and we might also just choose a nice room reverb preset. What we're also going to do is add a little bit of panning, for example with our hi-hats we might actually just pan those slightly left. If you were sitting behind a drum kit from the drummer's perspective then this is likely to be a little bit closer to the sort of positioning that you, you're going to get. I also find when I'm working with congas that if you pan the high samples and the low samples different ways then you can also get something good happening. So we're going to pan all of our higher congas just to the right a little bit and pan our low conga to the left a little bit just to help add a little bit of movement across the stereo field. Just hear the delay coming through there, as well as that little bit of reverb that we've added on there. 